Welcome to Getting Started with Gorilla Scheduling. This quick tutorial will help you get started with Gorilla Scheduling 6. Now, there are over 50 videos for Corolla 6, and this one is not intended to replace any of them. But if you want to get started right away, this is the video for you. So let's go. When you first launch Gorilla, you will be taken to the project manager. In the latest version of Gorilla 6, you will see a demo project in the Select a Schedule list. I'm going to select it to open that schedule. This is a schedule that was initially imported from a screenplay, which I am also going to show you in a bit, but let's take a look at what is on this screen. To navigate to a different scene, select the scene in the Scene Navigator. Up here, you will see the Interior, Exterior field, the Set, and the Day-Night field, all of which were imported from the screenplay. On the left are your standard categories. Selecting one, will show you all the elements for that category in the next column. The column on the right shows you all the elements scheduled for that scene. To add an element to a scene, select that element in the middle column. To remove it, select the Remove Element button. To add an element that is not in the list, select the Add Element button. Here, you can also specify the category for that element. Now, elements are considered anything you need to be scheduled for that scene. This includes props, costumes, makeup, and even cast members. To manage all these elements, click on the Elements button. Notice the same list of categories here on the left. Here, you can add detailed description, import an image for that prop or costume, and add scenes to that element, which is kind of the reverse of what we did on the breakdown sheet. Next, let me show you how to import your own screenplay into Gorilla. Click the Manager button. I'm going to create a new project by clicking here and then selecting the Import Load Screenplay button. The list of screenplays in the My Screenplays list shows you all the screenplays in this folder. But I'm going to import a screenplay that is on my desktop. So I'm going to click this button Import Screenplay from Hard Drive. Enter a schedule name for this schedule, which can be the same name as the screenplay. And this is just telling you that there are three file formats you can import. I'm going to import the FDX file, which is Final Drafts format. And once you select the file, it will import and automatically take you to the breakdown sheet screen. Once imported, you can start breaking down your schedule. So next, I'm going to create some shoot days for production. And since we have a brand new schedule loaded, let's do it with this new schedule. To do that, click on the Shoot Days button. On this screen, I'm going to set up a phase called Principal Photography. And a phase is just a collection of shoot days. Let's set it up for one week since this is a shorter project, and click Create. Here, you can see that the phase was created along with the shoot days. Let's say we're going to have a couple of off days, so we won't be able to schedule any scenes on these off days. Next, and this is the fun part, we're going to create a strip board. And a strip board, simply put, is a way to schedule your scenes on your shoot days. So I'm going to go to the strip board, which as you can see is blank. You can call the board anything you like. And then select the newly created phase to that board. So now you get a colorful screen of all your scenes or breakdown sheets in the scheduling world in this strip view. Let's say you want to shoot these three scenes on the first day. You just drag them together and then move the end of day for the first shoot day up here below the last scene. And there, like magic, we scheduled our first shooting day. There are a lot of cool strip board features like displaying vertical strips, auto sorting, creating multiple boards, and a really nice strip design feature which allows you to custom design your strips and position different information where you want it to appear on your strips. 
so definitely take the time to learn about all these features. Next, let me show you how to enter cast and crew. I'm going to switch back to the demo. And to do this, you go to the project manager and select the schedule. Here, you can see a list of all the contacts for this schedule. I'm going to select this actor here. This is her contact info, her headshot, and the role she is playing in the project. You can enter stats here, such as height and wardrobe measurements, along with other information. And you can see here that this contact is attached to the category actor. Let's select a crew member. This is the DP. Here, you can enter the title for that crew member. And here, you can enter the shoot days that crew member is needed for the shoot. And of course, their call time. So when you are ready to schedule crew for a shoot day, you can do it here in the contacts module, or you can go to the shoot day. For example, let's go to the second shoot day and click on the call sheet button. And you can see here is the DP scheduled for this day, but let's add a few more crew members to the shoot day. And then you can change the call time for each crew member here. Lastly, before I leave you to create your amazing schedule, I'm going to show you how to print out reports, which honestly is one of the most amazing features of Gorilla because there are so many of them to fit your every scheduling need. If you are on the breakdown sheet screen, you can quickly access some of the more commonly used reports by clicking on the Quick Report button. Here, you can print the strip board, a call sheet, a shooting schedule, a day out of days report, and if you want to access all the reports for Gorilla Scheduling, click on the More Reports button. By selecting the Preference button, you can customize the look of the report by selecting to print or not to print certain items. Now, there's a lot more to Gorilla Scheduling, so if you want to check out more training videos, it's really easy. Just select Training Videos from the Extras pull-down menu and peruse the list. So, if you want to know how to sync a screenplay or how to print to PDF, they're all here. I hope this Getting Started tutorial has given you an insight on how powerful Gorilla Scheduling is. So, no more excuses. Start scheduling.